um, I have a list of qualities of good prompts that you might want to consider as you are creating prompts. The first is to define clear objectives. The next is to be very specific. Third is to structure the prompt. Fourth is to combine expertise, yours with the AI tool. Next is to use a polite tone, because remember, we're training the model. Unless you're using Copilot with data protection, everything you add is going to be contributing to the algorithm, learning how to respond and how to interact. So we wanna teach it how to be polite and also iterate and refine your prompt. That's an incredibly important part. So if you contributed a prompt already on your side, if you're trying this out with me, I'm going to help you by showing you how to refine your prompt to get the best possible responses. So let's look at what that looks like together. In this example, I am respond. I'm asking um, Copilot to respond as a university faculty member. Then I'm going to ask Copilot to create an essay assignment description for students in an urban planning class. So this is higher education. And I've given Copilot a role to respond as a university faculty member. I've also given it a specific verb. I've used the verb create. And that's important because if I asked Copilot to find an essay description, it will look on the internet for existing content. But I don't want that. I want it to create something new. So this is a great start. Then I'm going to be more specific. I'm going to give Copilot the learning objective for this unit, which is defining problems and issues with gentrification. That gives Copilot some specificity so that its response aligns to my instructional goals. Then I'm going to structure the prompt. So here's where I tell Copilot what to do and what steps to take. Remember, Copilot is my assistant. I'm in charge. So I get to tell Copilot how to generate this information. I've done that by telling Copilot to brainstorm a list of grading criterion for essays students will write and then create the assignment description. You can tell Copilot what steps to follow. You can also ask it to refine its own work. Finally, I'm combining my expertise because I know that I've given a lecture on the loss of social infrastructure, so my students need to include commentary on that in this essay. So I've added that to my prompt. I'm also going to make sure that you notice I'm using a word like please, please create an essay assignment description. Um, and what's great about this is giving um, Copilot the opportunity to get us through some results that fit exactly what I needed. When we're looking at refining these prompts, you want to keep in mind that Copilot is working off of the information you are giving. So the more specific you can be, the better. You're going to get more focused responses, the better job you do on your prompt. Um, I tend to have great, great, great responses um, to Copilot. And in fact, people will even say to me, how did you get that out of Copilot? And I say, well, I spent some time writing my prompt. Um, the more time and energy you spend on your prompt, the better responses you're going to receive and the more time you will ultimately save. So I consider good prompt writing an investment in saving my time later because I don't have to iterate and refine quite so much. Um, so here's me iterate and refining that prompt. I come in and I say, OK, now please create a rubric to score this assignment. I'd like to be able to save the rubric. I'm giving Copilot even more information and use it with my assignment. A table works best for me. And then thanks. So let's check out what happens when I ask Copilot to create a rubric for this assignment that it's just created and do that in a table. Now I could further explain that rubric and give it a point scale. I could give criterion. I could let it know how many points this assignment should be worth in total. Any of those details are going to be helpful. And all you have to do is add them into your prompt as if you were directing an intern to do it for you, maybe a teaching assistant. Um, if you were gonna put this in a Teams chat and ask someone to do it for you, give all those same details 
and then ask Copilot to do it for you. And then you don't have to wait for someone else um, to assist you. Who am I kidding? Most of us don't have assistance. That's why we're all using Copilot. All right, so you can see Copilot searches for a similar rubric and then creates a unique and original rubric based on information it finds online about other types of rubrics. And again, you can then adapt this to fit the exact needs of your class and your purpose. Um, I can also continue this by exporting. You'll notice the little Excel icon in the right hand corner. If I select that, I can download this straight into Excel, which means I can then, you know, copy and paste and manipulate it in a really easy way. Um, oh, and I have a little, um, just a little demo of that. Okay. And it's exporting. and opening in Excel. There we go. So beautiful and completely handy because then I can actually save this as a CSV and upload it directly into Teams. What? So exciting. Or any LMS. 